hey, you've clicked on this video because you heard about the dark web and you've wondered, how do I actually get to the dark web? Well, that's what this video is literally about. But hold your horses, because before we get there, I have a couple things I want to tell you about safety. There's a lot of stuff on the dark web, so you have to be safe while you're there. Use a virtual machine. I'm using in this video a Windows 11 virtual machine so that I can access the dark web. And then if I need to, I can just revert to an old snapshot. Or if I really want, I can just completely kill that machine and erase it from existence. That's important. When you go on the dark web, please use a virtual machine. Another thing that you're going to need to do is use virtual private network. So I use a VPN regularly. This isn't a sponsored video, so I'll show you quickly what it is. I use Nord, not a sponsored video. That's just the one that I use. But you're going to use any kind of VPN that you think would be good. Okay, virtual machine, VPN, and then dark web through the VPN. Let's go ahead and look at how we can connect to the dark web. Inside your virtual machine, you're going to actually need to download the Tor browser. So we're going to navigate to torproject.org slash download. It's going to bring you to this website. And while we're there, we're going to navigate to the whatever version of the download or Tor you want. In this case, I'm getting the Windows machine. It's going to download. Now the whole process, this is an edited version that you're looking at here. I've, I've sped things up a bit just so that we can be a bit more fast and get the information that you want. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and double click on the executable that you've got. And it's going to go and open up the, the file and we're going to run through the Tor download process. Install it wherever you choose. And then this process takes a little bit of time, but here I'm going to zip through to the end. And I'm going to run the Tor browser. And from here, we've got the Tor browser open, but we actually need to connect to the Tor network. And so in a moment here, we're actually going to click on connect. And as long as you're able to reach the internet successfully, you will we'll be able to connect and be a part of the Tor network. And now we're there. We are, we are connected to the dark web via the Tor network. So at this point, we need to insert a onion link. Now, if you see on the top of the screen, it looks like a garbage URL. And that's just because that's what onion links look like. What you're seeing on the screen right now is in fact BBC's node on the dark web. A lot of information in there. They would have a safe deposit spot for journalists to receive confidential information. This video is not about what we're going to do once we're on the dark web. It's about how to connect to it. And the truth is, the folks that want to connect to the dark web already have intentions on what they want to do once they're there. And that's really it, folks. It's, it's pretty straightforward how to connect to the dark web. What you need to do is be safe while you're there.